There's a lot being said about modeling right now, and it is, it is not a science that predicts our outcome. It's our actions that predict our outcome. So when we made those, those initial decisions, modeling wasn't even available yet because there wasn't data yet to put in models. So remember that modeling is still like a weather forecast. And even weather forecasters don't use one model. They use multiple and they take a wide range of things. And similarly, when we look at the modeling for this pandemic, we look at the most conservative worst case scenarios. And we heard some of that in our very conservative sort of Cleveland Clinic model originally. And we look at some of the other modeling that is showing much better outcomes. But it's so important, all these modeling do, all of it collectively points us in a general direction of decision making that we can use to make some guesstimates about maybe when a peak will be, maybe when we'll need more ventilators than not. But it's very, very general directional science. It's important to think about worst case scenarios because what we want to do and everything we've done is rule out the worst case. Worst case would be having to make really hard decisions about scarce resources. We know we have large shortages of things like PPE and ventilators, and we are doing everything we can to never have to make that decision. But if we don't know what a worst case is, we can't aim well and we can't prevent that. And so similarly, we look at the best case scenarios and we're very optimistic and hopeful, but we have to continue to think about worst case scenarios.